Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that excellent presentation and, and congratulations for all the achievements. It's really important for us to see that you're not only succeeding in terms of uh, the amount of growth, but also the quality of the growth and how it's being uh, shared. Uh, it will be really interesting for us to understand a bit better uh, why are you working with the World Bank Group? What do you value of partnering with the World Bank Group? Uh, what are the lessons? And also, if there are any areas in which you think we can do better to support your, your economic growth. We're always trying to be a better partner. We're happy to, to support uh, your, your economic development. But it's really interesting to hear directly from you on these issues. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister. I think uh, that is a very valid question. Uh, basically, working with World Bank creates an entire new process. And uh, I think, uh, apart from uh, the financial resources which World Bank brings, it's all about systems, process, technology, which it brings, and it adds value to the project. And, uh, you know, when we actually execute one project with World Bank, we get so much knowledge that we can, we, we actually do replicate the same in our other projects. So I think now the project like Pokra, Nanaji Deshmukh Kusi Samruddhi Yojana, it was a difficult project because it was to be implemented in 5,000 villages. But I think it was so well designed that it became people's movement. And when things become people's movement, then I think it, it, it succeeds. And it was in an area where I think the most agreed distress was seen. And now is a time where people say that don't discontinue it. So new techniques are adopted by the farmers. These are small farmers. They have very small holding. So I think basically this knowledge, the processes and the technology which the World Bank brings is, is I think, most important. Thank you very much. Uh, it's really, really very uh, impressive. And uh, two questions. One is on the investment. And I recognize the, uh, the, the whole India, especially under the Prime Minister Modi's uh, infrastructure uh, the slogan and uh, campaign is uh, achieved a lot, and uh, in this state, same. And I also recognize you have a one trillion uh, uh, economy uh, target. So this is huge investment needs. So how you mobilize the investment, the share of domestic and external, domestically, the, the, the from the revenues from the from the banking, uh, what's your sources for that? Because it's very important for all all of your growth. And second, the whole World Bank group, you know, that our current twin goal is to end extreme poverty and promote shared prosperity. So, in terms of the extreme poverty, I recognize that there's still uh, you achieve a lot from the 14.8 percent reduced to 7 percent the uh, the multi uh, mentionally poor people but still have a seven seven percent uh, I don't know what's the national poverty line but uh, I think in the next four years what's your uh, last uh, mile effort to really aggregate and extreme poverty in this day what's your measure and the second uh, in terms of the shared prosperity is related to inequality issues in this state, what's the current situation of the inequality, especially the, the most vulnerable and the 40% of the low income? What's, what's the situation? How you solve the issue uh, during the very rapid uh, development stage? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, your first question is very valid because uh, uh, our report of Economic Development Council also envisages huge investment uh, to achieve trillion dollar economy. And I think uh, uh, in the past we have learned a lesson that if you structure your projects well, then I think uh, you can actually raise the funding for the projects. So we are also working with the uh, multilateral agencies. 
we are working with the world bank we are working with asian development bank we are working with jica at the same time our honorable prime minister has also started a, a pipeline wherein uh, the in large infrastructure projects are actually funded and basically to accelerate those projects uh, he has actually started a scheme where we get a loan for 0% interest for 50 years the only uh, you know issue about that is that the project should be completed in a stipulated time and i think maharashtra has been successful and we have used that loan most in in the country and i think uh, 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 with the uh, big uh, projects like uh, you know samruddhi highway we have understood that uh, we can generate you know uh, private investment as well so i think uh, we have a very sustainable uh, plan to finance our projects to achieve this uh, trillion dollar dream so far as extreme poverty is concerned and inequality is concerned i i actually must confess that there is a inequality because uh, in maharashtra there are districts which are at very far flung areas and in those districts we have to work more because mumbai being a, a financial capital mumbai is uh, mumbai actually contributes huge into taxes it contributes huge into uh, our direct and indirect taxes so comparatively when it comes to mumbai and mumbai metropolitan region uh, there is always a disparity seen but i think the basic uh, uh, strategy in the uh, economic development plan which we have charted it is aimed at actually investing more in those areas where the gsdp or the gdp is low so i think we are connecting them with infrastructure we are leveraging uh, a lot of technology and i think with that now lot of jobs are also being created there and these are the areas which are predominantly agrarian areas so the practices of you know new agriculture like uh, the pokra these are also changing uh, uh, changing the the scenario and the one more uh, actually scheme that was smart which was shown by uh, which is funded by world bank that is actually creating agri business uh, centers in every uh, village so up till now the biggest problem was that villages were not connected to market and the intermediaries used to you know uh, earn more but with this smart scheme the villages and the farmers are getting direct access to the market so i think uh, there's a absolute focus on uh, eradicating poverty and on eradicating inequality thank you very much it was a very comprehensive uh, presentation and uh, very well uh, covered i believe uh, so many points to take back as a board member going back to the board making decisions about uh, the bank future and also as we currently going into uh, a period where we uh, go and have a, f a f uh, re look to our operations our uh, even uh, processes i believe uh, you have presented three projects on the pipeline three projects on the oper and the on ongoing projects i have also imagine many projects in the past but through this kind of relationship with the world bank uh, we as a board we would like also to know where are and openly speaking where are the areas where the bank can simplify its processes look to the uh, relook to itself and as well as uh, maintain its governance uh, and, and and robust uh, decision making uh, honestly this is a kind of uh, an, an open messages that the, the can only come during, during this kind of open dialogue and we will take note of it if i can just add to that so this is a very important point because with the new president coming in of the world bank ajay banga there's a big effort now to streamline processes make it simpler to deal with so your perspective from the state would be very valuable to the board you like to comment just a, one point i wanted to say first is that if you see maharashtra extreme poverty has declined from 14 to 7% which is a very big decline
Thank you very much uh, for this kind of feedback. Honestly, uh, uh, I'll be repeating this question in every visit, but uh, I just want to ha have a follow-up on that. Uh, uh, it's very good, honestly, to look at uh, ourselves and we have a re re fresh look where we make decisions how we, how we can uh, make this expedient. And also, I think one of the items that uh, we as World Bank, and I think uh, going forward, I request uh, also every uh, stakeholder dealing with the World Bank also to have this kind of uh, advisory from the World Bank, because I'm, I'm sure that uh, that an Indian uh, decision-making system, it's a kind of mature and it has its own governance. Uh, but always there are areas of improvements, maybe the World Bank would highlight. And I would like honestly to, to take this, uh, st starting from the initial concept of the idea, all the way to the approval in the parliament is to be very expedient. And I, I, I really would like to, uh, to have this kind of, uh, of an open dialogue in the future with the World Bank and getting this kind of any advisory. So we will look to ourselves honestly and we would, uh, we would also keep uh, uh, highlighting any areas of improvements, but maybe in, in your system is, is already mature, but many other clients that would, uh, would require some kind of, uh, of, of uh, free look to their operations, but uh, any kind of knowledge also from your side would be helpful for the World Bank coming forward. I think what I should have done in the beginning, now I'm doing. So I take this opportunity to welcome this power packed delegation of World Bank, which uh, consists of uh, 12 executive directors to the city of Mumbai and the state of Maharashtra, which is a business gateway of India. I think, uh, as I've already said, working with World Bank adds a lot of value. And uh, I must thank you all for making this world a better place to live because all of you represent more than 100 countries. And in these 100, more than 100 countries, I think you are making the difference. Having said that, I think I want to be very brief because all the statistics and projects, everything has come in our presentation. But just to make you aware of few of our uh, projects which uh, are not showcased here, which are very ambitious project, projects. One of them is our river linking project, where we'll be linking a river from extreme east of Vidarbha to the west of Vidarbha region. It will be a 600 kilometer canal. And uh, this river linking project will travel through those districts which have been identified as drought prone and it will change the fate of agriculture in these districts which are also we have which have witnessed a lot of agri distress we are also uh, coming up with a project where water from west flowing rivers which directly goes to the sea. We will be bringing that water into Godavari Basin. Godavari Basin is largest basin of Maharashtra. Around 50% of Maharashtra is situated in and around Godavari Basin. And it's a deficit basin. And we propose to actually bring around 80 TMC of water, which up till now going to sea, to this basin, and this will serve the areas of Marathwada, 
which is again a very agri distress area and i think few such projects which we have we are actually at a stage of final approval we have our regulator mwrra these projects are submitted to our regulator and once our regulator approves it we are very hopeful and ambitious because i think uh, this projects will require 13 to 15 billion dollars but we are very hopeful that we'll be able to actually raise that funding through multilateral agencies and at appropriate time we will also take the help of the world bank i think these projects put together will actually make maharashtra drought free because 50% of maharashtra's area is drought prone and that is why i think it will be a great step to you know develop maharashtra one more project which was mentioned here is about energy transition i think we are at such opportune time that our development right now can be sustainable the entire world is into energy transition and we have opportunity to have sustainable energy sources and as rightly said that uh, around 17000 megawatt i don't know how much it means in terms of gigawatt but around 17000 megawatt of agri power in next 3 years i am very confident that we will transform it into solar and uh, i think that will be a huge step towards decarbonization of our power issues at the same time maharashtra i think probably is the first state which has created a very robust green hydrogen policy wherein for three anchor investors we are actually giving a lot of shops and uh, fortunately we have decided to give three because our budget can accommodate three but we already have five people or five companies who have approached us in uh, in this field in the pump storage projects i think uh, maharashtra soon would be a leader and uh, i think huge investment private investment is coming in the psp projects and i think as we know globally 25% of the capacity needs to be needs to come from psp to make it more sustainable i think we will be able to do that maharashtra is also doing a lot in creating infrastructure roads ports airports as a you must have witnessed that in mumbai all the big ticket projects which we started in last regime under the chairmanship of our honorable chief minister we are completing almost all projects on time almost all projects it is just because of uh, uh, covid that uh, they are here and there one year here and there so i think that is something which maharashtra offers that we actually not just conceive the projects but we work on them we deliver the projects i must tell you one thing which has never happened in india that is our samruddhi express way our chief minister was the minister in charge and i was chief minister and we could actually get the entire land acquire the entire land in less than 11 months 700 kilometers green field road which has never happened in india so i think that shows our commitment and we are very eager to work with you i am very happy that the world bank is also changing its processes and uh, i think uh, at such a time we would like to work more closely 
with the World Bank. I once again would like to thank the entire delegation. It's a privilege to have such strong delegation. And I think even the learnings from all your countries would be very valuable. And we would uh, like to have those learning as well. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Maharashtra.